Hello dear students, welcome back to Varsha Tutorials. Children, you have already learned that our body is made up of numerous organs, eyes, nose, hands, legs, stomach, intestine, liver, kidneys and so on. And do you know what are these organs made up of? of? Yes, you are right. These organs are made up of tissues and these tissues are further made up of numerous minute cells. So a full body is made up of numerous minute cells. Not only our body but the body of other animals too. Body of plants is also made up of numerous minute cells. Even the microorganisms like bacteria, protozoa, their body is made up of single cell. So, whichever organisms are available on this earth, whether it's animal, plants or unicellular organisms like bacteria or algae, the body is made up of cells. And that's why the study of cell is so very significant. Children, cells are very minute and not to be seen by the naked eyes. But do you know the largest cell available on this earth is egg of an ostrich children i don't have the uh, ostrich egg but i do have egg of hen which is also large enough to be seen by the naked eyes if i break open this egg cell you will see nucleus and the cytoplasm of the cell very clearly i have this broken part of the broken egg i have this broken egg here now this yellow colored structure in the egg is called the nucleus of the cell. It plays very important role in controlling functions of the other organelles of the cell. And this jelly-like structure which is transparent is called cytoplasm of the cell. Children, if you are non-vegetarians and you are eating the egg, after cooking, you must have noticed that after cooking this jelly-like structure which is transparent becomes white in color. So that is cytoplasm and yellow colored is nucleus. I hope this is clear to you. Now let us proceed. Children, we all read books and through books we have learned that it is all made up of letters. Many letters come together to form words. Many words come together to form sentences. Many sentences come together to form paragraphs, many paragraphs come together to form chapters and many chapters come together to form a book. Similarly, our body is made up of cells. As book is made up of letters, our body is made up of cells and many cells come together to form tissues. Tissues are a group of cells which perform same function and which are similar in structure. Many tissues come together to form organs. Many organs come together to form organ systems which can be digestive system, respiratory system, excretory system, nervous system, etc. And many organ systems come together to form a whole body. So a body is made up of cells. Therefore, study of cells is very, very significant. In 1965, scientist Robert Hooke observed a thin section of cork under the microscope. In this section, he saw hexagonal compartments like those of beehive and he named those compartments as cells. Cells is derived from the Latin word cella meaning small rooms. In 1838, two scientists named M.J. Shelidon and Theodore Schoen formulated a theory which stated that all living organisms are made up of cells and the cell is the fundamental component of living organism. Further, in 1885, scientist Rudolf Virchow stated that all cells are formed from the pre-existing cells. In 1673, scientists named Anton van Leeuwenhoek assembled various lenses to construct a microscope. He was the first to observe bacterial and protozoal cells. Children, 
the cells are so minute in size so what could be the unit required to express its length or size let's see it's nanometer and micrometers children you know that 1 cm is equal to 10 mm then what could be what about nanometers and micrometers let's see 1 cm is equal to 10000 micrometers 10000 we can be expressed as 10 raised to 4 micrometers 10 raised to 4 means how many zeros after one of course four zeros as written previously then we can say that 1 cm is equal to 10 raised to 4 microns micrometer and microns is one and the same let's see further what is nanometer 1 cm is equal to 10 raised to 7 nanometer we have to keep this in mind if at all you are asked in filling the blanks or match the following you, you should keep in mind that 1 cm is equal to 10 raised to 4 microns and 1 cm is equal to 10 raised to 7 nanometer okay i hope you will keep this in mind children when we take thin slice of onion peel and observe it under the microscope this is how we get to see the cells of onion under the microscope here we can see the nucleus circular structure or nuclei plural of nucleus is nuclei okay so we can see clearly the nuclei of onion cells and also we can see the cell wall very clearly this is the cell wall okay so nuclei and the cell wall can be seen clearly under the microscope okay cells are of different shapes example circular rod shape columnar spiral oval rectangular etc so that's all for today dear students i hope you have understood everything very clearly so now it's time for the assignment If at all you have any doubt in the assignment watch the video again and children in the next video we are coming up with a more interesting topic on difference between plant cell and animal cell till then keep smiling keep learning thanks for watching